Yeah, I think it's a combination with uh, a lot of things happening today in the transformation towards a more sustainable society. I think if you look at ABB, we are well positioned in those secular trends, especially when you are looking at uh, electrification and automation. And then it's also a combination that we have transformed uh, ABB uh, to be a more fit uh, company today. And we're seeing many of our divisions are performing better and are going into what we call the, uh, getting a, a growth mandate. Uh, so I would say it's a combination. So the reaction, I just went over it, uh, the stock price was quite negative after your last earnings release. And uh, even though we have fully rebounded back from that, which I'm sure is a huge relief to you, at the time there were some con concerns about your comments vis-a-vis -vis growth and demand coming out of China. What is the latest uh, on, on that particular topic? And do you see any green shoots emerging within the Chinese economy and from a demand perspective right now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, first of all, I would say China is a very important market for ABB. And in our latest quarter report, we, we show that uh, Asia was actually up 4%, while China was down 3%, so not massively. So still a healthy market. On the other hand, I said you, you should never underestimate uh, China. You know, if you're looking at many of these so-called green technologies, which is, a, is necessary for the transformation that is taking place today. Close to 70% of those are, are being developed and produced in China. And then I'm related to, to solar, to batteries, to wind, to EV cars, and so on. So I think uh, uh, China will play an important role in this also in the future. Bjorn, good morning. Juliana here. Uh, I want to talk to you about margins. Um, in terms of your previous guidance, you managed to achieve uh, your uh, margin target uh, a year earlier than expected. But now today, you've set out even more ambitious margin targets, uh, 16 to 19 percent operational EBITDA margin uh, from over 15 percent previously. What's going to drive that margin improvement? You know, I think we have had a, a very strong focus on uh, getting our operation in fit and making sure that we are getting paid for the value that we are creating to our customers. That's been the basis. And our operating model, as you know, we call it the ABB way, has been very efficient in the driving this through the accountability, moving it down closer to the customers, to, to our division. And we've seen a, a dramatic improvement, as you probably see, more like 500 basic points during the last three uh, years, and we see continuously. I mean, you saw our Q3 report. We actually reported 17.5%, so well in line with the new targets. So I think KBB is a much more fit company today uh, than historically.